touching his arm. I mean, I don't even remember doing that, nor would I ever do that. So it's just again the levels of what they're how they're. Well, and I mean, let's that. and let's be clear about something here. I mean, you're you're being nice to the guy, and and we don't have to be mean to him. But there's a reason why a lot of female Project Veritas uh, undercover investigations do well. Because a lot of these liberal men, I mean, literally like a woman touching their arm is like the greatest experience they've ever had in their life. So they're willing to fly to New York to give you information that you want just, just to hang out with you. So it's not like you have to go to much lengths to, to bend these guys to talk to you. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I know a lot of Project Veritas undercover people and, and it's actually, I'm stunned at how open these, these men are working with the Democrats are when they talk to you. But again, it's that, it's like you said, they're kind of prudes. And so I'm not trying to be mean to the guys, but they're like, oh, a beautiful woman wants to talk to me. They're just like spilling their guts out to you. Exactly. And then that's not my fault. That's not my fault. You know, honey pot is what Jeffrey Epstein was doing. Anna Kate joins me. She's been on before. It's nice to have her back. And I saw this story, first I saw her tweet, and then I followed the story, and, I, and I'd heard about it before, but I want to read the tweet, and, and honestly, more than anything, I found this entertaining, but I wanted Anna to come on here and tell the, the full story, but, but here's what she said on Twitter the other day. In an undercover Project Veritas investigation, Governor Kate Brown's ex-campaign manager is mad because I busted him, so he said I touched his arm during a meeting. Oh my goodness. Oh, look, Anna Kate touched his arm, allegedly. Like, stop the presses, guys. I mean, seriously. The Daily Beast considers that flirtation. LOL, I never had to flirt with my targets. I was good at what I did. And I actually didn't touch him. But oh, the lengths they go. So, I mean, what a joke. <laughs> I mean, seriously. I'd so, so I read this and I just found it hilarious. So, but Anna, uh, talk about the undercover work you did for Project Veritas. But then this, this hilarity. Now, after they get busted, insinuating that you inappropriately touched his arm? I mean, wow, these are some lengthy accusations. This is literally how low they have to go. I didn't even touch his hand. It was his arm. I don't know. Was I going to the ladies' room and I accidentally brushed his arm? No, I mean, I, mean I had a friend come in today who's who's pregnant, and, she's, and she comes in. She's like, look, I'm pregnant. Look at my big belly. And I touched her arm. I said, congratulations. That's awesome. Like, oh, no. Apparently, that's flirtation to the Daily Beast and the New York Times and all the other hit pieces that I've received, the Daily Mail. It's so interesting, by the way, the timing of this story. This story came out four years ago when I worked undercover with Project Veritas. Same thing that I've noticed with the two communists that were fired from the Department of State with from my investigation that I had that uh, Secretary Pompeo commented on. Now it's 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 so weird. It's coming back to the surface four years later after it was already public. Now coming at me, coming against James O'Keefe, coming against Project Veritas. Interesting timing. One, I was about to work with another whistleblower. Number one. Number two, James O'Keefe has a deposition that the New York Times is under, where it's going to be the first time that journalists from the New York Times or any media at all are under deposition, under oath, talking about their practices as journalists. And I also want to say one other thing. It's interesting how journalists are coming after real under cover journalists. They should be thanking me for the work I have done. They should be applauding the fact that communists were fired from the Department of State. Left and right should be very happy about that fact. But of course, they're trying to label me a honeypot. I've never been a honeypot. I actually, during the interview with Project Veritas, they asked me, what lengths would you not go to in an, an undercover investigation? I said, I will never touch anyone. I will never kiss anyone. I will never sleep with anyone for a story. Number one, I'm a Christian. Number two, ethics, right? I'm good at what I do. I can ask questions. And I want to say another thing, third thing, Owen, is that most of my investigations, I was with a colleague. I was rarely alone. And when I was alone in a meeting, which whether they think it's a date or not, that's on them. It's a meeting for me. I'm asking them questions. I was never alone with them. There was always a security guard behind me at all times. First of all, filming B-roll. Second of all, making sure I'm safe. So this allegation of touching his arm is absolutely ridiculous. And they're running with the, the honeypot salacious accusations trying to destroy my character. But I'm going to keep standing up for myself because that's completely baloney. 
Well, and by the way, Project Veritas doesn't even do honeypot operations. And so if any, if there were any, you know, men that were trying to make an approach on you, that was all on their behalf. It had nothing to do with the Project Veritas investigation. So that just shows how they're really mad that Project Veritas is exposing them. But again, if, if Democrats didn't have double standards, they've had no, they've had no at all, none, none, no standards at all. So explain, though. You catch corruption, you get a couple people fired because of your investigation, and then they're mad at you because you're doing real journalistic work. Yeah, and they can't understand it. The only thing they can say is, oh, this girl from Survivor is using her looks to bust these people. Listen, um, I can't help what the Lord gave me. I'm going to use it. But at the same time, these are investigations. I find out who they are, They the, these specific targets I've had. Uh, you know, obviously the Kate Brown was, 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 was different. I approached it differently, but for in the, in the department of state, when we were doing the hashtag, um, deep state exposed, a lot of them were communists. A lot of them were in democratic socialist of America, DSA. I infiltrated that organization and I became friends with them and I busted them. Um, again, with, with colleagues, number one, with, with, uh, Michael Kolonik, we had a ploy where I was with another colleague. We had a show called red state, blue state, and it was a completely neutral political show. We were interviewing people and it was great. We had a great connection with my colleague and, and Michael Kolonik. And, you know, he was very much like, I don't want to say, I, I, I don't want to call him anything bad, but he's just like a really like nerdy guy, very nerdy. And so um, he answered a lot of questions that we had about Kate Brown, but then I wanted to talk to him a little bit further. So he contacted me, hey, I would love to fly to New York and meet with you and, you know, just hang out. And I was like, oh my God, I, I called James. I'm like, James, he's going to fly to New York. I don't even have to go anywhere. He said, great, meet with him. So I met with him. We met at an, in an open area in a restaurant in, in New York City. I had my security guard behind me. I got everything I needed. The other questions that we had, he answered. And after that, I dodged him, just like he said in the article, I dodged him. And now he's saying I touched his arm and I was flirtatious. I was never flirtatious. The guy is a complete prude. I, I you know, and, and I bless him. I'm this was great. I'm waiting for my husband as well. I'm a Christian. but. Touching his arm, I mean, I don't even remember doing that, nor would I ever do that. So it's just, again, the levels of what they're, how they're... Well, and I mean, let's, and let's be clear about something here. I mean, you're, you're being nice to the guy, and, and we don't have to be mean to him, but there's a reason why a lot of female Project Veritas uh, undercover investigations do well, because a lot of these liberal men, I mean, literally, like, a woman touching their arm is, like, the greatest experience they've ever had in their life. So they're willing to fly to New York to give you information that you want just, just to hang out with you. So it's not like you have to go to much lengths to, to bend these guys to talk to you. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I know a lot of Project Veritas undercover people, and, and it's actually, I'm stunned at how open these, these men are working with the Democrats are when they talk to you. But again, it's that, it's like you said, they're kind of prudes. And so I'm not trying to be mean to the guys, but they're like, oh, a beautiful woman wants to talk to me. They're just like spilling their guts out to you. Exactly. And then that's not my fault. That's not my fault. You know, Honey Pot is what Jeffrey Epstein was doing. Honey Pot is what Hugh Hefner. Oh my gosh, you know what? That's such a great point. To insult you for doing actual journalistic work while they cover up actual Honey Pot operations that their politicians run to blackmail people. Yeah, that's sick. Isn't that interesting? You're coming after real undercover journalists who, by the way, this happens in every sector, right? You have undercover journalists that investigate child trafficking. You don't think they need a loan as well. And, and you know, these guys are interested. Well, they're trying to get these kids saved. Listen, this happens everywhere. And there's been plenty of undercover in journalists that have done exactly what I've done. And literally everything I have done in all of my investigations at Project Veritas was all legal. And also I wanna say, New York Times fake news, I never investigated the FBI. I am not an idiot. Second of, first, per, first of all, second of all, it's completely illegal and I would never investigate an intel agency. That is crazy and they know it's not true. Uh, Poker News ran with it and a lot of other salacious articles were written and that's again all fake news all trying to slander me why my reputation uh, my character and also james o'keefe and project veritas and i have to say again they cover up the pedophiles meanwhile they come after real undercover journalists who are serving this country happily